All right, so in this video, we're taking a look at the Smirnet laser engraver with touchscreen. It's got a 40 watt laser with a 0.08 millimeter compressed spot, Wi-Fi connection for app support. You can also engrave on acrylic, wood, metal, leather, whatever floats your boat. Uh, this video, we're gonna get specifically into the actual engraving aspect of, of this engraver. We're not gonna do any kind of setup or anything like that, but I will tell you this, the engraver itself, it comes in about seven general pieces when putting it together. It takes about 30 to four minutes, depending on, uh, on your familiarity uh, with engraving devices. Uh, it comes in like the front part, the, uh, the back part, you've got your two rails. Uh, you've got your top part here and of course the the engraver i mean the laser and then the control box uh right here yeah we're going to try some different different uh varieties uh when it comes to the engraving i've done some couple of tests here and you can see how you know i, I wrote a name here using the app and of course here's uh another uh, vector here you can see how it's kind of bleeding on the side that's when you go max power you can refine it with a power and get more sharp cutting such as such as this one, as you can see right here, uh, very little bleeding. It's just more refined because I dropped down the power. This one is a, a, a very light power engraving of a photo that I took, uh, just doing some tests. And of course, I've got a, oh, it's upside down. I engraved a hot dog on this piece of aluminum material right here. Yeah, so let's get into some uh, engraving and show you how, and here's some other tests um, as well, compared to, oh, where is it? What did I do with it? Compared, oh yeah. Uh, this is a full and then compared to the vector. It gives you kind of similarity of the, of the difference of the two. All right, so let's get straight to engraving. Let's get my piece of wood right here. And I just want to give you a brief example of what it looks like. So, all right, so let's connect this. We're connected. Of course, I like to see where my, where my image is actually going to be. So I like to do a little pre-frame. All right, so that's it's a little off the mark. I'll move it right there. Very good. All right, and then I'll go ahead and I'll just press start and go. Now, as this is going, I wanna make sure always when you're doing this, safety and also be responsible at the same time. Since this is a laser hitting wood, you are gonna get some smoke coming from it. That's just the nature of the engraving process. As you can see, the, the smoke also, the smoke comes from, especially when you use a, a little too much power. So just keep that in mind. I like to, um, I, did, I decided to use 400, but around 300, you have far less smoke going on right here. All right, so let's go straight to the end of this process. All right, and it's all done, and here it is. All right, again, we just did a vectorize of my logo. It looks really nice, sharp. It doesn't have any bleeding at all. It actually looks really good. If I actually want to make this a cutout, I'd probably have this repeat maybe about uh, three or five times and increase the power. Um, probably bring up the size too again so I can avoid uh, the bleeding aspect so it's not too close to each other. But yeah, this is what it is. Now, let's move on to what my favorite part of this whole engraving process is, is actually using the app. Uh, so here we go. We're going to get rid of the USB. We're all done with the, the laptop. And we can go ahead and just bring our phone, our smartphone, all right, and we're going to use an app called MKS Laser. We go into it. Uh, now, from the start, when you set up your, your machine, you want to make sure that you connect, your, uh, connect the, the control box to the Wi-Fi network, network within your house or office, whatever it is, so you can get yourself an IP address. Once you do that, enter your IP address. Once it's in, you'll go ahead and press connect, and you're connected to your laser engraver through your Wi-Fi connection. And just to show you, we'll go to the control, and we can actually move our laser with no problem. You can move, uh, move it in one millimeter increments, 10 millimeter increments, now it's 50 millimeter, millimeter increments. Um, the app gives you some basic controls. And of course we can press home and it'll bring us right back to our home position. And you can see where your X, Y axis looks like as well. Uh, let's go back. Uh, we can go to creation, which is actually really cool. Uh, we can actually do letterings Oh, no, let's, let's undo that. Or you can just make create your own designs if you like, and then you can send it to the print. You can send it to the engraver. Um, outside of that, you can also upload pictures onto the engraver from there and send it off. 
or you can actually take a picture right here and we can just take a picture of the engraver. And we can engrave that. So we've got some different things here that we're gonna uh, test the engraving. Of course, we've got some wood material. We've got the aluminum. Um, we've got this plate that we're going to engrave. I'm gonna put my daughter's name on it because I think when it comes to the household, I'm gonna have the kids have their own separate plates that they're responsible to wash and it's gonna have their name on it so they're gonna know uh, whose dish it is. Uh, we're gonna try to engrave this Xbox controller and we're also gonna try to engrave uh, these, this case on the iPad, no, iPod Pros uh, there. So, okay, so let's, uh, our first one. All right, so the first one, let's do this. Uh, let's, let's go to, I wanna go to material. And you can see that you have some designs here. A uh, little, little hot dog that we saw before. Let's do this little police car. And at first I wanna show you how you can actually just use this on the actual phone itself. Okay, so we, we have our gray, we can do it strong, we can do it sketch or dither. It's kind of like a, a dither is kind of like a dotting form. We'll say we're gray because it's a very, it's already a vector image. All right, and of course you can adjust the brightness and the contrast of it. We'll go to the next one, it loads up. We can connect first, I, I must have gone out. All right, let's go back, connect, we're connected. Go back to our material, we'll do the car. Okay, we'll go to next. And here you can adjust the, the size. Now you have a little frame button right here to let you know, lets you know how big the image is gonna be. So we'll go ahead and press that. All right, so it looks like the image is, is going to be pretty small. We have a file name, the size, and of course the work speed, and our laser is going to be at 500. So what I have to do is just press this and it's gonna upload directly to our control panel. Now make sure this, when you're uploading to your control panel, you have to have an SD micro card within it so it can send the image to the card so the control panel can read it. Uh, I'll show you later on, you can actually print directly from the control panel. Without a phone, if you have an image, if you have multiple images on your SD card, you can do all of that from the control panel. So let's go ahead and press confirm. See our laser starting. All right, yep. And we'll just confirm and we can see the status bar of the laser uh, going. During this process, we can actually change the power of the laser and also the work speed of uh, the laser as it's working. Uh, in retrospect, I see it going. I probably should have done vectorize because it's really trying to do a, it's trying to go on that grayscale. So let's do this. I'm going to stop it. And this is all just for the video. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do it again. But this time we're going to go straight to sketch so we can go by faster. It's going to upload. It's going to delete the previous uh, file that was on there and it's going to start. There we go. It's good. definitely go a lot faster. I think for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you actually bring up this, the work speed of it. So right now it's at 100%. Let's go uh, twice as fast. And you can see it. It's actually picking up really fast. Obviously, the faster it goes, you're kind of risking more on the detail, the cleanness of the design. But for this video, we're just going a little faster so we can get a sense of it. It's definitely picking up the pace. All done. Let's see what we got here. And there we go. Yeah, it looks really nice. Of course, this is where we started on the first run when I was trying to do the grayscale, but then it went into the, uh, the vectorize for the rest of it. And that looks like it looks nice, looks sharp. Uh, probably would have reduced the power uh, so we don't have uh, some bleeding, but yeah, it's already looking nice. Let's try it on the aluminum. Okay, and we'll put that right above there. We'll press next. Uh, we'll, we'll make, let's make it a sketch. Okay. And then let us, what's our frame? All right, so it's gonna be a pretty small image. All right, and then we'll go ahead and we will start. And of course you can change the size um, to what you want, to, want it to be. All right, so let's, all right, so we're, we're working our way to the cool stuff. All right, and this one's done and let's see what it looks like. All right, so it is, it is very, very, very light. You see, you can see the low nose tech, um, but I think, yeah, and you can kind of see the smile, but I had to go way too fast. I needed time to actually penetrate the material. Yeah, but yeah, that's what this video is, uh, is all about. You know, I can tell you that when I did this, I didn't speed it up. 
and it probably was uh, probably at 100% power, which I think uh, this was at 100%. Yeah, but it definitely needed more time to actually engrave into the material. All right, so let's move along. Again, I wanna, I wanna show this uh, to you guys so you guys have an understanding, uh, especially when using an app. Let's get to uh, the plate, all right? So let's, let's set it up. We're gonna use this dial right here to raise it. And we're gonna use this right here. This is our, this is the distance we want between our material and the distance between our material and our laser. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this right here. And we're good. All right, and I think I want it right there. And we're going to, I guess, we're gonna try you know, I don't want to make it too big because I want my daughter to decide, but we're going to test the uh, the actual writing. Let's see. I'm going to write her name down and let's just give it a heart. All right, we'll go with that. Keep it nice and simple. Uh, yeah, let's go, go with the sketch. Contrast, brightness 100%. Okay, 3850. Let's see how bits... Okay, it's going just outside of the, the frame, so I'm going to adjust it. All right, and the laser power. I think with the material this is, I think I'm gonna, yeah, cause, oh yeah, it was on 500. The laser power is 500 on that one. Yeah, well, let's let's definitely do a 900. Uh, and again, if it's not deep enough, then we can always uh, repeat the same thing and it'll, it'll trace it on the, exact, on the exact setting. All right, and let's go ahead. It's uploading, confirm. Yep, and this is my first test of actually engraving on a plate. So let's see how well it does. So as I'm seeing go right now, it seems like uh, the work speed for this is just a little too fast. So I'm gonna bump it back to 100. So that laser can really uh, have some time in, uh, and set in and burn in there. All right, I'm gonna stop this by right now and see what it looks like. And it seems like, yeah, it looks like I definitely needed a more power. Uh, it's definitely engraving in there. Um, especially the material. Yeah, but there is a hard in there, the A, the V, and the A. Uh, probably next time we probably would have done the grayscale, so we'd have done all of it. But yeah, it's actually, it's getting in there. Uh, I probably should have increased the power and let it burn a little uh, slower uh, for that. But I actually want to, I want to move along with this so you, uh, so you guys can see the different variety of things um, and what we can do. But actually, we're getting some good tests going out of this. All right, now let's try the iPod. We're gonna measure it up, make sure we get the right spot for the right height. All right, this is gonna be a very small image for sure. Okay, we'll knock that out. We'll get that in there, we'll go to next. We see it there, we'll do the, the sketch, the 106. All right, uh, now, how much space? Okay, yeah, so it's definitely gonna be a little too big. Let's, uh, Let's bring it back here. All right, okay. Looks like it's too big. Let's make it smaller. Let's make this 24. And the lock, it'll measure it out on its own. Okay. Let's move this. All right, we'll just move it just a little more. All right, there we go. All right, let's 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 see what we got here. Uh, the laser, I, I'm gonna put the laser at 100. Oh no, yeah, oh, 1,000. Yeah, no, I definitely want 1,000. Yeah, this looks like some tough material. All right, and let's go. Uh, in retrospect, I think I should have gotten lighter. All right, I'm gonna pause on this for a second and check this out. There goes the logo. And of course, uh, <laughs> the, the microphone kind of, uh, put like a really deep burn in it. But overall, you know, I, I probably would have uh, not used a thousand, uh, a thousand power on it. Uh, and probably would have made the image just a little bit more bigger. Uh, and I probably would have had the microphone not be, uh, it just been outlined and not that, but you know, whatever, you know, it, it's, it's okay. I put these in a case anyway, but it's nice to have a little uh, part of my logo on there as well. That's cool. All right, let's try one more thing. Uh, let's try our controller. And this time I'm just gonna just Make it really simple. I'm just gonna put my name on it. Let's put the name on the back of the controller. Go ahead, flip it down. And I'll leave it at 500. It's my Xbox controller. 
and let's check it out. Oh yeah, it really got deep in there. But yeah, you definitely can... I would just have to uh, clear off the ash, but... I mean, you could definitely see it's it's really fine. Low nose tech. It's it's really fine. It's As far as like the ashing, it kind of like uh, smears it. And you can see it's the detail is actually really there. Um, hopefully the ash just kind of fades away over time after I, I wash it a couple times. Um, but yeah. Yeah, overall, I'd have to say, uh, you know, when it comes to low nose tech, uh, low nose needs to learn a little more when it comes to laser engraving. Uh, but when it comes to the, the the simpler things, as far as like wood carvings, uh, and also with on uh, uh, aluminum as well, it's pretty much straightforward. When it comes to the fine details on things like like this, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a little more problem solving when it comes to it. But yeah, now one more thing, uh, let's go back to uh, the control panel. Uh, it, the control panel will always load the last thing that was on your memory card. So you can actually load your memory card uh, into the control panel and actually cycle through uh, the images that you have on the memory card through the control panel. So in a way, you don't need a laptop. You may not even need your, your, your smartphone. All you need is actually the engraver, the laser, uh, the control panel, and an SD card with images, and you can just start uh, engraving. Uh, and you can set it onto a multiple uh, how many passes do you want on it? So definitely, you know, very set and fret, forget kind of thing, especially if you're trying to do like a lot of automated stuff. You want to carve out a, a, a variety of things. You can do that with this as well on the on the color touchscreen panel there. Re really simple. Control the settings of the laser, send it home, fine tune things, and of course, execute as well. All right, guys, uh, really hope you en enjoyed this video. It was fun making this video. Got a lot to learn. Enjoy. If you like this video, well, go ahead, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and also ding that notification so you don't miss out on any other uh, goofy experimental videos just like this one as well. Links down below for everything that you see that I'm using here in this video to, uh, to, to help you out. And also leave a comment down below if you just want to, you know, if you want to say, well, so sorry about your controller, so sorry about your, uh, uh, your AirPods. You know, I get it, but I'm, I'm just kind of doing it for you. And at the same process, at the same process, I'm trying to learn a little more about this. Probably should have done a little more learning before doing this, but whatever. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.